here we have an olipid challenge, an olipid question. And the question reads, x to the power of 2 plus 1 all over s to the power of 2, again, equal to root 2. What there will be the value of x to the power of 20, 24 minus 1 all over x to the power of 20, 24? What will be the value of that? Now, before we go into this challenge, if you're new here, kindly subscribe and hit the bell notification button where you subscribe, okay? Because we drop new videos every day here at Online Mouse TV. Okay, so let's take our solution without much waste of time. So we have solution, solution, solution. Okay. We are dealing with this because it is from here we're going to have this. So we take the first one, which says or uh, which reads s to the power of 2 plus 1 all over s to the power of 2 equal to root 2. What we do to uh, handle this radical or to eliminate this red radical is to square both sides of the equation. So if we do that, we can say a yeah, square both sides. Square both sides of the equation so if we do that we're going to have this to be s to the power of 2 plus 1 all over s to the power of 2 or squared equal to square root of 2 or squared good now if we look at this if we square this on this other side first these two will take care of this radical here and so here if we square this we're going to come out with um s to the power of 4 plus your 2 dot your s to the power of 2 dot 1 all over s to the power of 2 plus your 1 all over s to the power of 4 equal to this how we are left with 2. Okay, here this we take care of this. So once this leave the system, we are left with 2 multiply by 1 to give us 2. So we now have the left hand side of the earth to the power of 4 plus 2 plus 1 all over s to the power of 4 equal to 2. Let's continue on this other side. Alright, alright. Okay. Good. We move this plus 2 to this other side to give us here your s to the power of 4 plus 1 all over s to the power of 4 equal to um, your 2 minus 2. So here we have 0 because plus 2 minus 2 will give us 0. So our equation becomes s to the power of 4 plus 1 all over s to the power of 4 equal to 0. Good. Here we now begin to think of a way or a number we can manipulate from here that will have something to do with this, which the product of it and another number will give us 2024. Okay, so the best thing we can do here is to bring out 8 from here. So, how do we bring 8 from this power? Is to multiply both sides of the equation by s to the power of 4 again. And so, we can now say here, multiply. Let's say multiplier true by s to the power of 4. Okay, so if we do that, we're going to have this to be s to the power of 4 dot s to the power of 4 plus 1 all over s to the power of 4 dot s to the power of 4 equal to 0 dot x to the power of 4. Okay, here, this guy will go with this guy. So here we are now left with, if we succumb to the uh, multiplication law of indices, we see that if you have your um, uh, S, okay, let me use another alphabet. If you have A to the power of S dot A to the power of Y, this is equal to your A to the power of S plus Y. What happens here? The bases are the same, and this is a multiplication size, so add the powers. So if we take one and we add the power, then we're going to have here to be s to the power of 8, then 
plus here we are left with one so we have one equal to and this other side we're left with zero so if we have zero on this other side move this plus one to your right hand side to give us minus so we have earth to the power of eight equal to minus one good wow now that we've established this part then let's bring our equation and see how we can blend this into this equation so we now have our equation s to the power of two thousand and twenty over minus one all over s to the power of two thousand and twenty four okay will now be equal to what yeah 2024 can also be written as um eight times two hundred and fifty three. So, but from here, let's move to the other side first before we continue this manipulation. First, to your know, eight times two hundred and fifty three minus one all over earth to two hundred. So eight times two hundred and fifty-three. Okay. Yeah, according to the law of indices, we says that if you have your a to the power of m n, this is same thing as your a to the power of m bracket n, which is same thing as a to the power of your n bracket m. You can interchange the exponents. Okay. So if we apply this law here, we're going to have this to be your s to the power of 8 r to the power of 2, 5, 3, minus 1, all over s to the power of 8 r to the power of 2, 5, 3. All right. Remember, we have established the fact that s to the power of 8 equal to minus 1. So wherever we see s to the power of 8 we'll put in minus 1 in there and so this will now implies that your minus 1 r to the power of 2 5 3 equal to 1 all over your minus 1 r to the power of 2 5 3 good now 1 minus 1 to this power will give us what this is an odd number Okay, it's not an even number. And so if we carry out the multiplication of minus 1 into this number, we're going to end up having minus 1. And so this is going to give us minus 1. Then, sorry, this multiple, please. Minus 1 all over minus 1. Okay, so this minus multiplied by this minus will give us plus. So we have minus 1 plus 1 this is equal to 0. If we have this to be 0, let's let continue on this side. And therefore, we can now establish our fact that this now implies that your r to the power of your 2024 plus your 1 all over s to the power of 2024 from our expression, okay, so my expression is equal to zero. This is your answer. All right. This is the end of this challenge. If you have learned something from this challenge, give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Okay. You can say thanks, J, for being there all the time. Okay. Remember, this is all I must TV, and my name is Jake's Animal. I love you so much, and if you've not subscribed, do well to subscribe. Because we release new videos every day. Thanks for being there all the time. Bye for now.